put a finger down if art has caused you pain, mental or physical. <laughs> I think that art mainly gives me a lot of mental turmoil because I'm always concerned about what to create and when to create and how fast I should be creating. So it's mainly like anxieties, but I know that you work with a lot of like demanding materials. Anytime that thread snaps or a needle breaks. Yeah, there's a lot <laughs> of things that kind of just turn into me being stressed and anxious. Finger down if you've ever submitted the same project for two different classes. Was what really, was the project? <laughs> I was really busy that week. The classes were in two different departments, and so I knew the teachers wouldn't know. I couldn't even fathom passing off work in two classes. So you never learned to cheat? <laughs> hurt anybody, just me, because I didn't make any work. Put a finger down if you have gotten rid of your artwork. I mean, artwork can take up a lot of space. In my past, it's been like drawings and stuff that I'm like, okay, I don't need this in my life anymore. It's not really serving. A purpose. I've burned most of my artwork. All of the old newsprint pads full of bad figure drawings and things like that. You know, in times of transition, like if I'm moving or something like that. Yeah, but why do you have to burn it? Can't you just put it in the I recycle just, bin? I don't want any evidence. Put a finger down if you've never consumed an art material. What have you eaten? What, did you drink your paint water? I'm not like you guys. I can't imagine drinking paint water. I constantly use recycled materials, so half of the stuff that I've had to use for my projects are like old drink cans and aluminum cans and stuff, so I technically have. That doesn't count. That's okay. just like real food. Put <laughs> a finger down if you've ever offended somebody with your artwork. Dish Dorian. For my thesis project in school, there was a guy who opened up a storage facility. He thought that I was building a chicken coop and yeah, it wasn't a chicken coop. It was a storefront made out of recycled materials. You should build a chicken coop on his lawn now. I Just should. like for reparations. And then I should also harvest those eggs and sell them because eggs are too expensive. Entrepreneur. When I was trying to perfect, you know, portrait painting and, and drawing fast caricatures and things like that, maybe not being super accurate with my technique yet to the point where they, I got a lot of like, Oh, thanks. I guess it inspired me to practice and get better so that I didn't really get that response anymore. <laughs> Put a finger down if you've never pulled an all-nighter for an art project. Ha! I'm so on top of it. It doesn't make any sense to me still. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? I was just very organized. I feel like there are some projects that require being up for like a, a day. Okay, so then how many all-nighters did you do? In four years of art school. Oh, just in art school? Uh -huh. I would say probably at least 12. Oh, that's not that many, actually. But you've not done any. Well, why would I need to? 